Did you know that there were weapons of mass destruction in German hands prior to World War II? Germany had large stockpiles of extremely effective poison gas weapons. Hitler could have easily used these weapons to give himself a leg up, especially when he was losing the war so badly in 1944 and 1945. Yet Hitler only ever used these weapons one or two times against Russians in very narrow Schustemanns, despite his large stockpiles of nerve agents. He never used them. Why? Well, because he feared that if he did that, the US and Western allies would do the same to his forces. So even a madman like Adolf Hitler refused to use WMDs, even when he was clearly about to lose everything. I don't think Putin is eviler than Hitler, nor do I think Putin is dumber than Hitler. Nuclear weapons are good at one thing, killing civilians and completely annihilating a nation to the point where the very land that nation inhabits is not but a wasteland devoid of all life. As a weapon of war, they are utterly useless and outdated. The first nuclear weapons were developed in the 1940s by the US. By the 1950s, the USSR had developed nukes and the nuclear arms race took off. At the time, nuclear weapons were fantastic weapons. A big problem in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam was the accuracy of bombs. If you wanted to bomb a factory, you had to drop hundreds of bombs from hundreds of planes and blanket the entire area in the hopes that one would strike true. Then, here comes the nuke, a bomb where you only need one. If you want to destroy a fort, break a hole in the enemy's line, or destroy a factory, all you need is for one nuke to detonate within a few miles of the target. The strategic uses for such a weapon were boundless. Things have changed though. Now we have smart bombs, big bombs, small bombs, bunker busters, supersonic missiles, and all sorts of tactical weapons. These weapons are better in war than any nuke. If Putin drops a tactical nuke on Ukrainian troops, sure, it'll kill a few Ukrainian soldiers, but it's not like that gap can be exploited. The entire area is irradiated. So while it's off limits to Ukrainian forces, it's also off limits to Russian forces. The front would stay unchanged and that's that. If Putin nukes a city, what will it do? It's not like the Ukrainian people will go, oh, well, I guess we lost because city is destroyed. The Ukrainian army would remain intact as would Ukrainian leadership. Nothing would change. Simply put, there is nothing that a nuke can do that another weapon cannot do better. Beyond that, Russian equipment is terrible. Their ships, artillery, logistics, tanks, it all disappoints. So there is a good chance that many of the Russian nuclear weapons don't work. Moreover, the drawbacks are insane. The only way nuclear bombs work is if you use lots of them. You need to nuke every city, not just one. Nuking a single city changes nothing. Nuking two cities changes nothing. All you do there is aggravate your enemy beyond imagination. You need to eradicate the entire enemy population, or at least a ton of them, to break their resolve. What happens to Putin if he nukes 20 cities in Ukraine? How would the people of the world react to something that horrid? There would be no choice. NATO would get involved and either nuke Russia into the Stone Age or put troops on the ground and win the war. It immediately draws the ire of NATO, the EU, the UN, and likely even China. It makes Putin this generation's version of Hitler. Suddenly, people are willing to sacrifice whatever to see him brought down. NATO will respond. Either they will use tactical nukes against Russian troops or conventionally enter the war and fight on the front with Ukrainian troops. Either way is a disaster for Russia. Ukrainians will be livid, more than they are now. Suddenly, this is a war to the death and a grudge that everyone carries deep. Worst case scenario, NATO nukes Moscow and Putin. His family and his government die in nuclear fire. Best case scenario, Putin just lost the war against NATO. And we all know what happens to defeated Russian leaders. The US in particular has thousands of bombs. Most are short range missiles or plane dropped munitions. However, the most notable weapons at the 400 Minuteman III, intercontinental ballistic missile. Each Minuteman III ICBM has three nuclear warheads on the tip. These things shoot way up, basically into space. Then the nuclear warheads separate and strike their targets down below. What could the US do with 400 of these missiles? Well, 400 ICBMs means 1,200 nuclear missiles. Russia only has 200 cities with a population of over 100,000, and the US would be able to strike. So if we were going after the population, we could practically annihilate the entire Russian population in just a few hours. These missiles would likely target major cities, military buildups, airports, and Russian nuclear missile platforms. Either way, 
Russia losses that war, don't you think? Sure, they may take out the entire US in the process, but either way, there is no Russia left after a nuclear war. Putin wants to stay in power and ideally, he wants to strengthen and restore Russia to its pre-collapse USSR heights. Starting a nuclear war would most certainly impede these plans. Even if Putin lives, and I doubt it, he wouldn't have a country left to rule over. It just makes no sense for Putin to do. Even if the USA and Russia were physically fighting a war, it just wouldn't happen. I think you can relax there. So nukes aren't very good weapon. They give Russia no advantage, and the drawbacks are serious. Russia gains nothing. In summary, I do not believe that the Russians will use a nuclear bomb. In my opinion, the state closest to using nuclear weapons in the future will be Israel. It's possible we'll see Israel use tactical nuclear bombs in Iran or elsewhere. Even if such a thing were to happen, there is still no Western leader who would hold Israel accountable. Yee!